Hello, my name is Chris. I'm with MyCricketForum.com, and today we have the HTC Evo Shift 4G. Uh, this is actually one of the easiest phones to flash, and this particular one is already flashed to Cricket with Talk, Text, MMS, and Internet. But we're gonna go through and uh, show you how we uh, did that. So first, take your USB cable, go ahead and plug it into the device. Like all other Sprint phones, you're going to need to get the SPC. On our tutorial on the website, you're going to be able to see all the files that we download. The first uh, set you'll need are the uh, HCC Diag drivers. We already have them on here from the Evo and Hero, so it'll already install automatically. Then we go to the dialer and uh, dial pound pound three four two four pound. This results in the DM command service uh, to be pulled up. It'll probably install another set of drivers. This is when the actual HTC Diag drivers come in handy. You'll definitely need those. The first program you're going to use on your computer is CDMA Workshop. Find the port that you installed this device onto. You can go to your device manager and your computer and see what port it did. Uh, CDMA Workshop 2.7 can only open up up to port 25, so you're going to want to make sure it's in this range. Since we do so many devices on this computer, uh, every time it installs, we just go back and change the port to port 15. If it was on another port and you, you make it lower, go ahead and set the port, OK, OK, and then unplug the device and plug it back in to make sure it is on the new port. So we're going to go CDMA Workshop and connect to port 15 in this case. we will say connected to COM15, port successfully. We're going to go to security and we're going to hit read. So unless someone else has already set the uh, SPC to this device, it's going to be a bunch of different numbers. What you'll do is hit SPC and sit, hit uh, send and this will unlock the device. And then you can type in your own numbers. Of course, we just type in 000000. 000, 000, 000, 000. It makes it easier to come back and uh, edit this device again later. Let me hit SPC again and write. It'll say it's been changed. And then we shut it down. It's going to ask you if you want to reset it, but you don't have to. So just go ahead and click no. Then go to QPST. If you don't already have this, port setup with QPST, go into the folder and then go to QPST configuration. Here's where you can set all your ports. Add new port, find the port. Sometimes you'll have to click this check mark and then the port will show up. Once you've got your port, select it and start clients service programming. Hit OK when your device is selected. It'll come up. Hit Read from Phone. We've already set it to all zeros, so you can hit OK. CDMA tab, we've got our phone number right there. We've got our MIN right there. All these are set to EVRC. Then we go to Roam. Find the PRL that you want to place on the device. We have a link to our PRL thread. It's always being updated. Next thing you want to go to might be display. If you want to change your banner to not say Sprint, you can enter something right in there. As you can see, ours says Peanut. And that banner will usually show up right where this no service is. The next tab you'll want to go to is m.ip both of these you go into your phone number at mycricket.com 
enter a cricket here, cricket here, enable uh, this, zero all these out, click OK. Do the same for the first profile. We we'll probably have defaulted to active user one. Really, I think you'll only need to do that profile, but go ahead and do the first two. Play it safe. Mobile IP behavior on a lot of uh, devices such as the Evo, um, I believe the Epic, and the Shift, you'll need to set it to simple, or you'll uh, everything will work, but you'll get an error that pops up every once in a while if you're with anything else. Next, go to the PPP config and hit UM. Your phone number at mycricket.com there. Your phone number at mycricket.com there. Enter the password cricket in lowercase. Check these two boxes and then move over to AN. Your phone number at mycricket.com there. You won't be able to type it in there. Don't worry about that. Type in cricket there and then click write to phone. We've already done this device, so we won't have to do that. But because we sent changed the SPC, you'll see the signal right there is disabled. And we'll just reset the device. If you look on our page, we have the APN that will be need uh, you'll need to use to get uh, MMS working on this. This one is on the $55 plan. We could have rooted it and probably put it on the $45 plan. Uh, once uh, the gingerbread errors get worked out, we'll probably upgrade this device to gingerbread. Probably won't have root again for a little while. So we'll have to be on the $55 plan again. But if you root this device, you should be able to get it on the $45 plan. Like I said, use the APN in the the thread for the tutorial. You want to put that in the APN backup restore folder on your micro SD card. If you don't understand it now, you'll probably understand it once you read the thread. You'll have to install a program called APN Backup Restore from the market. We've also included this download on the thread. We'll wait for the device to boot up fully and then we'll show you APN Backup Restore. Being on the $55 plan is one of the easiest ways to flash your phone. You won't have to deal with setting up uh, something to bypass the proxy or to utilize the proxy actually. Even though we have some tools on our website with root that will make it really easy to set up the proxy. Some of those are being revised right now. So they may or may not be on our website if you choose to go the $45 route. Take it off of Wi Fi. We'll see the 3G pop up. Right here, you can see the banner peanut. APN backup restores right here. What you'll want to do after you place the edited APN on your micro SD card under the folder APN backup restore, you want to come under the device and back up your current settings. And after that, delete APNs, hit yes, and then restore the APNs that you've modified with your phone number. Then you might or might not have to reboot after that. If it doesn't work, reboot. 
And that's pretty much it for flashing a HTC uh, Evo Shift 4G. Please visit www.mycricketforum.com for more tutorials, this particular tutorial, and general information about Cricket Wireless.